but I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy. Between you and your person, we'll find out what's coming up. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So, Libra, the recent past energy between you and your person. Six of Swords, and it's clarified by Temperance. Now, Six of Swords is actually about moving into calmer waters. If you take a look at the picture of the Six of Swords, it's about peace, resolution, recovery. Yeah, the Six of Swords is a card above the word pass. It's showing these two people in a boat. They just got out of raging water, some type of storm, and now the waters are still. And they're actually just moving in a, into a, a, a peaceful place. Whereas before, they um, were in a storm. So it's about taking this time to get your head above the water and decide where you're going from here. Now it's with temperance with this card. All your relationships are likely to be going quite well. You may need to look at your deeper personal issues if you have any and see if or how they're standing in your way and if they are, how to work through them and integrate them because the idea is to do what it takes to find balance in yourself and in your relationships and with any goals or aspirations that you might have. So what I'm picking up Libra, for this recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently de dealing with, well, with the Six of Swords being clarified by Temperance, I'm getting that for a lot of you. There was some type of, um, could have been a fight or a disagreement, and you two were... The connection was just kind of crazy. But you wanted to be at peace. And you wanted to bring balance back into the connection. That's what it's showing. That's what I'm getting. Yeah. You wanted peace of mind again. Um, so for some of you, you could have reconciled. Or your person might have wanted reconciliation. Because you knew that um, um, their need it to be um, peace and restoration brought back to the connection with temperance here. Yeah, so like I said, if you just look at the Six of Swords, it pretty much says it all. They were in a storm. Now they're, they're smooth sailing. And that's what you wanted with your person. You wanted to come out of this storm that the two of you were in because you just, you really wanted peace of mind again. So, that's a recent past energy between you and the person you're dealing with. But we move on over and see what's coming up for the two of you. We have Five of Cups and it's with the Ace of Cups. Now, Five of Cups is a card that reminds us that where we put our focus has a great deal to do with the quality of our lives and how well they work for us. So, what are you going to choose to focus on? That would be the question. Because the implication is clear. Are you going to cry over spilt milk? Or are you going to focus on the milk you still have and get on with things? The point is that you have to watch where you put your focus. And make sure that the focus is for your highest good. Yeah, because when you get the Five of Cups, there's some type of disappointment. Now, it's with the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is a very powerful, positive card when it comes to love, affection, happiness. Like all the aces, it's about new beginnings, and although it usually means love, it can indicate new beginnings in other areas of your life. So things are looking up. People will respond to you with happiness, love, goodwill more than usually at this time. So you should be feeling good about life overall, and it's also a great time to make friends. So, coming up, Libra, Five of Cups, clarified by this Ace of Cups. So, yeah, like I said, you you wanted to come out of a storm with your person. 
And it looks like you did just by looking at the picture of the Six of Swords that we just talked about. You wanted to bring balance back into the connection. But coming up, it looks like um, you're trying to go for a new beginning with your person. Yeah, you're trying to maybe undergo a fresh new start. I'm just looking at the Ace of Cups. But it looks like there's some disappointment. You or your person could have a hard time focusing on the positive. Could be the both of you. Somebody's just hanging on or holding on to the negative and it's really hard to just focus on what's good. There's some, some new beginning that you or your person or the both of you, you want or a fresh new start with each other, but it's just showing that it's difficult. It's difficult getting there. Even though the two of you are at peace, or it appears that way, but underneath it all, there's disappointment. And someone is still holding on to it, whether you know it or not. So it's hard to get this connection to undergo a new beginning. It's going to be more like the challenge. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is, is for the both of you or maybe just yourself. Let's see. We got the magician. And so the ten of cups. Now, the magician is a card that often signifies new beginnings, great expectations. It's a card that reminds us that we have the power to make a difference in our lives. And in the world, if we simply try, just know that you will not have it all handed to, to you on a plate. But you have the potential to have that plate and a lot of what's on it if you do the magic yourself. Because the magician is all about action. So if you do nothing, you'll get nothing. And if you don't know what to do, then just do something. Because anything is better than nothing. In other words, if you don't try, you won't get. Now it's with the Ten of Cups. Ten of, Ten of Cups is... One of the most uplifting cards you can receive. It, it's a card that points to happiness, perhaps in a more mature, grown-up kind of a way. Either way, it's a good card to see, to get in a reading. Everyone wants a Ten of Cups in a reading. It speaks of a happy family life, even if you're single, to the overall well-being that goes beyond you yourself to include those that you're, you're most concerned about, your parents, siblings, children, your pets, and much more. Also being spiritually fulfilled, it could be a part of the picture here also. Great card to see regardless of any question. So the challenge, Libra, Magician Clarified by Ten of Cups. Yeah, you could be thinking that it's way too challenging to get a fresh new start with this person that you came out of a storm with. So you could be trying to manifest a new beginning somewhere else or with someone else. Because it looks like you really want your ten of cups. You want your happy life. You want a happy... You're looking for happy days. You're looking for your dream, to, your dreams to come true. Because the Ten of Cups is about dreams coming true, a dream that came true, or some type of dream that's actually happening. So it looks like you you're planning to be strategic, and you're making um, goals and. You're coming up with ideas for a new beginning. You got the wand in your hand. So it's saying that some new beginning could be trying to actually happen. But you got to put it into action. Yeah, because it looks like you want, you want something. You want your dream to come true. And it's just too difficult. There's too, too many disappointments going on with you and... The person that you you're dealing with so I'm getting for a lot of you going towards something else if it's not a person it's a situation because you're looking for your happy you're looking for your ten of cups 
Now we move on over, we take a look and see what the outcome is. We've got Three of Pentacles and the Empress. The Three of Pentacles, well, it's a positive card in the tarot, especially when it comes to work, career, it could be family or romance. It's a good overall card in the deck. It means you're doing well. It tells you that people appreciate you and your efforts. They notice the quality of work you do. They notice the quality of work you do, even if you're not being paid. The three tells you to keep doing what you're doing because you're on track. There could be some room for improvement. But you will not have to scrap something and then start again. Not when you get the three of pentacles. Now it's with the empress. The empress just knows she doesn't play by the rules. She has her own way of doing things. And her own ideal of what is right. And what is wrong in any and all endeavors. Now this does not mean she'll always get away. But she's actually a, a reminder not to ignore your creative and your intuitive side. It can signify coming abundance. But don't make the mistake of thinking that that will always mean financially. Because there's many types of wealth, many types of types of riches in life. And money is actually only one of them. But as the Empress, she can have it all. She can encompass any or all of them. Yeah. Now with the Empress, just know when it comes to love, it's a potent time for love. You could find men and women alike all of a sudden finding you far more attractive both in terms of friendship and romance so yeah you'll have the power of femininity or masculinity at your disposal when you're the um when the empress comes up in a reading so your outcome libra three of pentacles clarified by the empress so yeah like i said you're manifesting a new beginning um it just takes too much to try to hold on to the disappointment with this past person. It's too hard to try to get a fresh new start with them. So you're going for your Ten of Cups. You know it's out there. You're trying to put it into action. And it looks like there, there could be someone coming towards you with the Three of Pentacles showing up here. It looks like they might. Well, the Three of Pentacles can be about some benefits. You see how these people. The Three of Pentacles the card above the word outcome. This man, he's showing these two people at his. At his. At his they're sitting at his feet or they're on the ground right in front of him. He's showing them what he's doing. He's trying to impress them. Or they're just impressed by what he's doing. So someone co is coming towards you like this. This person could try to impress you with something. Or they could offer you some benef some great benefits. Maybe teamwork, collaboration. And showing that you'll be impressed with this person. And this person is going to find you very attractive. They'll be really drawn to you. If it's not your outer beauty, they'll be drawn to your inner, your inner soul. They'll find you, that you have, um, they'll be, feel like they're connected to your, your inner, if not your outer. Some type of deep attraction. They, the Empress is also, also about deep love. So, this person will be really drawn to you. Yeah, if it's not your outer beauty, it's your soul. Your spirit. Yeah, so. Yeah, you got the, you got manifestation powers, Leo. I mean, Libra. I just finished Leo, so. Sorry if I get the words twisted. Libra, the magician. I keep looking at the magician. You have manifestation powers. It's going to be a challenge, because... For some of you, you could be holding on to this past disappointment. But it's saying, don't just sit there, do something. It's gonna, it's a potent time for love, if that's what you're looking for. Yeah, do something. You just get out there if you're sitting at home. And if you can't really get out there because of the virus or whatever. Um, a lot of people are doing social media a lot. If you're looking for love... 
a lot of pictures, pretty pictures or whatever it takes. But it's saying you've got manifestation powers and you want to use it now because a lot of great things can happen for you. And it's showing that you could actually have your Ten of Cups. You could actually have it all right now. And there's someone coming towards you that's going to try to impress you. They're very drawn to you. So that's the reading that I have for you, Libra. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How do you see yourself? Best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Libra, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care. Come back and join me for the next Libra reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind, for the readings, the roles of the people can be switched. You could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could actually be a friend, family, family member, or co-worker, or situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates because these are general readings. They are not personal readings. So Libra, I can never say it enough. Thank you so much for watching. I hope 2021 is going well and I'm wishing you all Happy New Year's. I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope you have a great day and take care.